Now that we have our ebook or report pasted onto the um, Word Kindle template, the next thing we want to do is improve just a couple of things on here. Uh, I first go and I highlight my title and then I go over and I bold it. Um, I, I put a size on there to make it look a little nicer. You can do that if you'd like. This is the only font size that I change. I change it to 14. Next thing I want, the next thing you want to do is if you have a subtitle, just move it down a space um, so it's easier to read in the Kindle. You want to highlight it and then I bold that again just to give it a little more emphasis. Now don't worry about these margins. It's like I said, um, it does not look good on this template, but it will look great as long as you don't change the margins in the Kindle e-reader. Now the first few pages we want to make sure they don't uh, run together in Kindle, so we're going to split them. This is the end of my first page here after uh, first edition, so I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to click on page break. And you notice that that breaks the page, uh, the pages up. Now there's a lot of white space here. Again, there will not be in the Kindle, so don't uh, worry about that. This is my second page, my copyright page. Um, I'm an author and a writer, um, so I set my pages up uh, a little differently than a lot, a lot of the typical internet marketing uh, ebooks and uh, reports. However, you can set your first pages up however you'd like. Now, um, I have highlighted that because I'm going to go back to the home page here and I'm going to left justify it so that it, it runs on the, the left side. I had it in center by mistake. Now, again, this is the end of my copyright page, so I want to go to insert, page break, and add a page break. So now I have three separate pages my title page, my copyright page, and then my table of contents. Now, my table of contents is empty because I'm going to show you how to do that in one of the next videos. But right now I want to split the page. So I go down to the bottom of the table of contents. Again, we're on the insert tab. Simply hit or click on page break and you're done. Next thing, this is part one of my book. I bring it up to the top of the page. I highlight part one and this is how you set up the items that you want in your table of contents. You highlight it. This is what I want to be the first one in my table of contents. Go back to the home page. Go to heading one. My second listing in my table of contents is group leverage. This I go to heading two. And you have to left click it to make it uh, stay there. Now the next thing I want to, I want to show you is I go through the entire document. Now this document is 28 pages. So instead of just scrolling down, I go up and hit Find. And here, I put in my next subheading that I want to show up in my table of contents. It lists all of that, and it's right here, Joint Venture Marketing Leverage. Um, it brings me right to that spot. Highlight it. Click Heading 2. Then I simply type in the next subheading that I want to show up on my table of contents. And it's right there. I highlight it. Hit heading 2. And I do that going throughout the entire document. And once you're done doing that, watch the next video. Thank you.